David, when I look at you, I remember the 17-year-old snag with his long, lanky limbs and fluffy hair who finally asked me to be his girlfriend on his birthday. I relive all the hard work and growth, the challenges and achievements, the sad times and fun times that we've experienced together over 12 years since that birthday. I appreciate the deep connection we have nurtured. When I look at you, I feel safe. I feel the love that I only feel for you. I feel at home. From the moment we met in year 11, I fell in love with your ability to listen, to perceive and to advise. Your intelligence and petiteness endear me to you and the wonderful way in which you wait upon others' words to say both a little and a lot will lure me for eternity. You are the light of my life, for when all other lights go out, you invest in me such that I know I am truly seen. In the open air we close our eyes and breathe in slowly Knew we'd get here from the start Finding magic in the days and nights as they're unfolding Writing stories with the stars And the morning speed open dreams and we're right where we belong I'll go anywhere with you in the sunlight or underneath the moon all we have is enough take my completely trust you with directions, solo cooking or doing the washing just the way I want it, but with certainty I can trust that you will always be my solid ground, my voice of reason and my unwavering support as you have been for me countless times before. My beautiful girl, I love you unconditionally and promise to care for you always, to reassure you, to trust you to make you your coffee, to write you your poetry, and through all of our lives' adversity, to listen to you as you so lovingly listen to me. Today, I choose you to be my wife. I accept you as you are, and I offer you my heart. You and I, we have so many side quests to do together. <laughs> A lifetime of Saturday dinner dates, Sunday coffee dates, concerts, co-op Xbox games, holidays, <laughs> starting a family. However, my main quest for the rest of my life is to make sure that you know every single day how much I appreciate you, how much I adore you, how much I love you. to hold hands, take a deep breath, because you've got something very important to say. When you look at his eyes, you don't need to look at me, my love. Just feel the tension, because Paige and David, it is with great pleasure that I now pronounce you husband and wife. David, you may kiss your beautiful wife! <laughs> Paige, 
We feel that you've slotted right into our family from the very beginning. And due to our son's procrastination, you have had ample time to learn what you are getting yourself into by joining our crazy mob. On a serious note, we realised 12 years ago that you had stolen David's heart away when you were both still in high school. And it has been a pleasure watching the two of you grow together in love and devotion to each other over this period of time. share so much that makes you perfect for each other. Your love of a sleep in, fantasy books and takeaway food. Your shared honesty, generosity, and most importantly, your deep and lasting love for one another. I couldn't be happier that we're here celebrating tonight. And I wish you all of the happiness, love and success for your future together. I love you both very much and let's party. <laughs> David, there is no need to welcome you to our family. In my eyes, you have been our son for a long time anyway. Only difference is, it's official. We can finally call you our son-in-law. And I have been practicing at work, talking about my future son-in-law, and it's been really fun. So, if everyone can raise a glass, we'd like to say congratulations to Paige and David. Mum and I both love you very much. And David, welcome to our family, we love you. <laughs> 